Hi, everyone. Now, this is a quick tutorial related to navigating the technology side of managing your supervision at Sentio, uh, specifically how to navigate uh, toggling between uh, the Sentio supervision model uh, and secure video, or even having both windows up at the same time. Uh, I've got some notes here. You'll see me uh, looking out in this direction. Um, so for those of you who have already done supervision at Sentio, there's probably one of two ways that you've navigated sharing your screen and having access to certain documents. And so I'm going to share my own screen uh, just to show you kind of examples of what those two might look like. So first, you might do something like this, where you have the supervision model uh, on one browser tab, which you see here in the upper left-hand corner. And then on the other browser tab, uh, in this case, since I have two open, is the, um, you know, is the secure video browser or the secure video um, website. And so depending on if I'm sharing a video um, and working with my supervisee that way, I can have this up. And then if I need to check the supervision model, I can toggle back and look. In this case, of course, you're seeing both things, which is perfectly fine. It's, it's perfectly fine if um, your supervisees are looking at the model alongside uh, you checking it out. There's another way uh, that you can potentially share both of these things, and that's to actually do them both at the exact same time. Uh, and let me show you what that looks like. So in this case, it's similar to what you were just looking at, except instead of having to toggle back and forth between two tabs on the same browser, one that shows the supervision model and one that shows secure video, I've actually opened two separate browsers and I've positioned them on my screen so that they're side by side. And so what I've done here is just share not just one window or one browser, I've shared the entire screen. So you can see both of them at the same time. Um, and I want to show you how to do this in case you're curious about uh, doing one versus the other, if one seems better than what you default to. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how to share myself sharing my screen, if that makes sense. So what I did was I just took some screenshots of what it looks like when I'm sharing my screen, and we can work from there. So here's the first example. And this corresponds to what I had shown you initially, where you have two tabs that are open in the same web browser. Uh, so in this case, you go in Zoom and you go to share your screen and you'll see two options, right? You can share your entire screen, which is in the upper left-hand corner, or you can share a specific application window. And in this case, that typically means sharing a web browser. Or if you have something like a Microsoft Word document open, or in this case, I have uh, something called Spider One, which is just an automatic uh, backup software that I have running all the time. Um, so this allows you to select just one, one window, one application window. Um, so if you want to share your web browser and have both um, tabs on that same web browser, right, the model and then secure video, this is how you do it. You go to application windows and you just click into um, that web browser. And that way you're not sharing your whole screen. So if you have other things on your screen, uh, your supervisors won't see it. If you get like a pop-up notification on your screen, they won't see that because you're only selecting that one specific window, uh, in this case, the web browser that has both the model and then secure video on separate tabs. And of course, you want to click share sound. That's always a necessity when you're doing uh, supervision at Sentio. So when you share your screen and you're running through um, a client video, um, your supervisee can hear what you're hearing. So that's the first option, right? The second option is what I showed where you have two windows side by side. And in that case, you would set that up beforehand, right? Where you have your supervision model on one side of your screen, and then not in the same uh, web browser, but a completely separate browser. So you have two browsers open at the same time. Um, you position them side by side on your desktop. And so what you wouldn't do in that case is share the application window, right? Because that only lets you choose one, one window, one browser. Uh, instead, you you'd share your entire screen. And so that's how you end up looking at both of these things side by side. And so uh, you don't necessarily have to do one or the other, but we want to make sure that you have a sense of how to do both options, depending on what you feel fits best for you. But also th so that when you go to share either your screen or a specific web browser, um, you know which you're doing. So you can kind of like seamlessly transition into sharing your screen. Um, and of course, at any point you can stop your share, you can um, reshare, you can decide to share something different. That's always perfectly fine. You don't have to consistently share for the entire supervision. 
but we, we want to make sure you feel comfortable toggling back and forth, knowing how to share what, whether it's the screen or a specific browser. Um, and if you're watching this and this feels a bit complicated, there is a learning curve. So feel free to uh, send me an email, reach out to me, and I'd be happy to uh, set up a time to meet to chat um, and kind of work, work you through it in real time. Okay, so I want to actually demonstrate what this looks like. Um, and so let me go back to, we'll use this version of the setup first, where you have um, two separate web browsers open, one with the supervision model, one with um, secure video. And so in this case, what I've done is I've just recorded a short uh, session with myself, just like a two minute quick clip where I join the session on my phone. Um, and so if you're with a supervisee, you know, it likely wouldn't be the very top video once you click into the recording um, options on secure video. So you'd either get um, the eight digit uh, session number and you'd put that here. You can get that and just ask your supervisee what it is and then click filter. The other option is just to have your supervisee uh, send you a link of the specific session they want to work on in supervision. But either way, you'll end up on this screen. You click on view, which of course you already know. Um, and as I'm doing this, it occurs to me, I'm not sure if I remembered to share my sound. So I'm going to do that uh, real quick, just to make sure that I'm modeling the correct usage uh, of the technology. OK, so we have the video. And what some supervisors do is they will lead the supervision session by um, being the person who plays the video, who stops the video, who instructs the supervisee when to, when to do a certain skill. Um, and it's helpful in this case to essentially be steering, right? You are the one in charge of the technology rather than have your supervisee do it and tell them when you want them to stop the video. And so the way you do this is you've already shared your screen. Um, and so let's say you want to play this first bookmark here. So you'd watch it together and you do that by clicking on go to. And it'll automatically start playing from the time the bookmark was created. So in this case, 16 seconds in. And so here is me uh, waiting for my quote unquote client to join the session. But let's pretend that this is during a session and this is what you want help with. Um, you'd hear the video. You'd see the exchange between your supervisee and the client. And at some point when you felt like you've watched enough of the video where you don't need to see any more for whatever you're observing, or you want to pause it and have your supervisee practice a certain skill, you just hover over the window and press pause. And then you'd say, OK, great, now try the skill. And of course, since deliberate practice is iterative, at some point, you'd likely want them to try practicing the skill again. And so you just click right back to go to, and it start the bookmark over from that 16 second point. And then let's say enough time has passed, you pause and say, great, practice the skill again. Now let's say you want to practice something else in session, or you want to watch another bookmark that the client had or that the supervisee had highlighted for you. It's the same thing, right? You just locate the next bookmark. You click on Go To. Uh, in this case, I just picked a random time. You'll see I have joined through my cell phone, so there's two of me. One of me as my you know, therapist pose and one on my phone as a hypothetical client. And you'd go through the same process here. You'd watch the video with your supervisee. At some point, you pause it. You tell them to practice a certain skill. And then you'd repeat by clicking on go to again. And this way, by you being in charge of the person kind of navigating the technology and secure video, um, you just have a greater sense of control, a greater ability to instruct your supervisee um, when to do the practice, um, when you want to toggle back and forth potentially between the video and the supervision model. Uh, it just gives you a greater sense of control. But let's say instead of having these two windows side by side, um, you prefer instead to have it set up where it's just one window and you can toggle back and forth as you prefer. So I'm going to pull that up again. Um, and this goes back to selecting the application window as opposed to just the entire screen. Um, and let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Here we go. So now uh, I'm just sharing this web browser. And in the web browser, I have the Sentia supervision model up. And then on a separate tab, but not a separate browser, uh, I have secure video. So let's say I wanted to see something in the supervision model or explain it to my supervisee. You just make sure you're, kind of, you've ticked over to this particular um, tab. And then when you're ready to jump back to secure video, you click back to that tab. And then it's the same process, right? You would click on the bookmarks. You would kind of steer the session that way. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. It's the same thing that I was just talking about. Um, 
And I think for the most part, that covers the technology aspect of having to navigate the difference between having uh, you know, the supervision model and secure video in separate browsers versus the same browser and how to share your screen. Hopefully this has been um, useful and makes some sense. Uh, please do me a favor. And if you have any questions about it, let me know uh, if there's anything we can do to improve this tutorial or if you have specific uh, feedback uh, or just want to meet to talk to get some one-on-one -on -one support about how to do this. Um, you're more than welcome to reach out to me via email. Thanks so much. Have a great day.